Tony D and Little Joan with a screenwriter's rant on Late Night with the Devil. I'm already sold. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's the Pineys books 1 through 13. Available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free from Shudder. They do some cool horror. And IFC films. I guess they're having some sort of team up here. Uh, it's about a late night talk show that aired in 1977 and then some evil was unleashed and so they find it's like kind of like a found footage thing but it's with a late night talk show so and here's someone who gets transformed in the middle of the show uh it sounds crazy it sounds crazy and i've recognized this guy he's been in a couple of oh god he was in that film it's based on a stephen king novel I think it was called the boogeyman um stephen king endorses it but don't hold that against it not sure what this is um but something weird's happening on a tv show now me being a tv kid uh i recognize the sort of uh, the, the the trappings of this thing it's very much uh bathed in late 70s early 80s television milieu i'll say uh written and directed by colin carnes and cameron carnes oh carnes is it carnes or cairns uh wow uh husband and wife team starring david dast mcmalchain that's a tough name uh i assume he's the host so, is it based on anything? I guess not. I guess not. And, they, and they've got, you know, the old credit sequence. And um, I like I like the look of it. I think it could really work. But then again, I can relate to old school television. I don't know if the audience can. Because, again, like horror tends to be aimed at a younger crowd. Right? You take your date or you you rent a movie at home and you do some Netflix and chill and you want to do a horror movie, right? Because then the girl's like, ah, and then she's all over you. Um, so I don't know if this movie is going to do well because we're talking like, I mean, it's 19, it, it's set in 1977. That's almost 50 years ago. I mean, it's 40 45 47 years ago so practically there so that's when star wars came out star wars is going to celebrate its 50th anniversary in 2027 so yeah i don't i don't know man i don't know how well it's going to do it it feels to me like it's going to go it's not even going to get theatrical or release anyway but for streaming i think it could be really cool i mean maybe people who are fans of the joker because the joker was spot on with that kind of 70s aesthetic. And I love it. But that's the time I grew up in. So to me it's a bit nostalgic on top of everything else. Um, so I would totally watch this. Absolutely. He's got the sideburns. The whole thing. Uh, so first act. Oh. And it's and even the plot itself is kind of an old school plot like that. Because it, it first off it involves the devil. A lot of horror movies back in the 70s are all about... It had the devil in it, or the devil was involved somehow. Um, that's number one. Number two, uh, television, of course, and all the all the aesthetic there. Although this is actually sort of a mixture of 70s going into like later years. The 70s wouldn't have had a set this nice. Uh, their sets were a little more cheap. But... Uh, you know, for most audiences, I don't, I don't think they're really going to really, really, you know, pick it apart like I am. Um, so yeah, so the first act, it could be kind of the old found footage introduction sort of thing. So it's in the, in the present and they're talking about the past and maybe they're interviewing some survivors of this horrible incident in the modern day. And then the second act they start playing the footage 
and maybe they stop and start it. So maybe it's like a pseudo documentary, although I'm not seeing any of that in the trailer, so maybe not. Or maybe they just introduce it <clears throat> and just immediately start playing it. I'm not sure how they're going to do the behind the scenes stuff because... You know, you're talking about the 70s. The only way there would have been behind the scenes stuff, really, wasn't like video cameras were these tiny things back in the 70s. They were ginormous. And they wouldn't have had, you know, the footage. They just wouldn't even keep it. The technology just wasn't there to shoot enough footage. Maybe they could work in a scene where it's like, oh, okay, so this... This is some behind the scene footage shot by an intern who was using a Super 8 movie camera or something like that. Um, so I, I suspect that they're gonna have to put some of that in because even a late night show in the 70s, it would have been about an hour. I mean, the, the Tonight Show was, I think it was, I think it's 90 minutes, right? Or at least it was. Uh, so maybe they'd go the full 90 minutes just using the show. But I think there's going to be some sort of wind-up and maybe some some people being interviewed to lend it some sort of credibility. And so I guess they do something on the late-night talk show that summons the devil. Or they interview someone who's possessed or whatever, and then it just gets worse and worse and worse. And uh, until finally, like, everybody in the audience is, like, dying or killing each other. And I don't know how they're going to end this, quite frankly. Maybe it'll be, like, a wrap-up, what happened to all the characters. And they'll, they'll talk to this guy, or maybe he'll already be dead, or some of the other people. You know, again, I think they're going to have to have some sort of mock interviews to make this really work. And what's going to be the end? I don't know. Everybody dies, I guess, and, or but he dies, I'm going to guess. And then, uh, you know, the, the evil is still around somewhere. And maybe they hint that the current late night talk show host, you know, still somehow are tainted by it. That kind of thing. I don't know. But I'm loving the aesthetic. So I, I would totally see this movie. Um, let's see. A live television broadcast in 1977 goes horribly wrong, unleashing evil, evil into the nation's living room. Or it, I guess it, since it is a live TV show, they, you could argue, well, oh, they still have all the behind-the-scenes footage because they the cameras were rolling even when the commercials were on, and then horrible things are happening. But then they they come back to the show, and then maybe it stops just long enough that they can keep the show going, and it just keeps going. Maybe it's all show. It might be. Um, opening in theaters March 22nd. You're actually going to put this in theaters, huh? I'm going to have to see this. That's pretty cool. Everything down to the lettering and the hairstyle. Everything screams 1977 in this. So, directed by Cameron Cannon, Cardins and Colin. Cameron and Colin. So... Maybe brothers? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> uh, that that font. That's it, man. I, I just, it's spot on. Especially the devil being in red. That was the thing they did. So, yeah. I think this could be crazily good. Or it could just be dopey. I don't know. It depends on... You know, like in the 70s, they would make these movies, but they would kind of have these weird esoteric endings somehow. You know, like everybody's dead except the protagonist, and he's lying around, and there are all these bodies, and he's just breathing heavy. And then the synth, synth music starts, and the camera just starts pulling back, and he just sort of gets up and limps out of the room, and that like that's the end of the movie, and the credits are rolling. I mean, sometimes movies in the 70s would just end that way. They just end it. And you'd just be like, that's it? <laughs> You're just left to wonder what, you know, did the guy go to jail? What happened to all the bodies? Did he just leave it behind? What? Maybe they'll end it like that. I mean, it is a very 70s aesthetic movie. So that would be kind of hilarious. <laughs> I wonder 
Yeah, I wonder what the credits are going to look like. Because will it be the credits of the show that you're seeing? But like seeing it ironically, like everybody's dead, but you're seeing the smiling, happy faces of all the all the actors as if the show went off well. I don't know, man. Interesting. Interesting. Late Night with the Devil, March 22nd. And that's it for me, Tony D and Little Joe. Check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble for our more base takes. If you can find a more base take, I say, take it. I will be at, speaking of horror, I Heart Horror Convention this Saturday, uh, starting at 11, goes to about 8.30 p.m. So it should be a big day in Sayreville, New Jersey. Then on Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday, I'll be at Valari's for the market from 11 to 2 in Sicklerville, New Jersey. And then on Monday, I'll be at the Newfield Library at 6 p.m. for my talk on how to hunt the Jersey Devil. Hope to see you there. We'll see you 